problem with my jacket <laughs> i was just thinking about the shot and how good you look how and dirty are my feet i don't know they're not that bad the you guys would love to know hey ernest ernest waits until we start this is how you know he knows he's part of the podcast is this true or false it's true he's been walking around not up here not paying any attention to jared until we started right he gotta take he's gotta take the spotlight what Johnny, I wish we could pull us up on a monitor. Can you invent that technology? Uh, yeah, not for, for this. <laughs> not for this episode. episode yeah. yeah, I think it's just because wouldn't like, that be dope? To like look at us. Yes. Yeah, phone, but, uh, Maybe with you, the pro- laptop. you probably just, you probably just need like a wire, like oh, a, a wire adapter. Yeah. You probably need software. No, just a. I don't know if it can capture. Just a straight wire, hundred percent. There's a hundred percent a wire to live stream it. I don't want to like, live stream not, it. Not live stream. Not live stream. I'm sorry to to get it onto the. Did he? No, it's his. It's his and pause. Welcome. He didn't fart. To another episode of OnlyFans. We were supposed to have a guest today, and you know, I'm we're not going to embarrass upset. her, but she will feel my wrath. Uh, <laughs> I think I, everyone feels your wrath. <laughs> oh, I'm having a especially week. with the shingles you got going. <clears throat> yeah, everyone knows about my shingles. Um. Everybody is very shameful about their shingles. One in three people have had that? it. Should I try saying that three times? No, because then the mic's going to go out. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be drenched. <laughs> drenched. <laughs> people are so shameful about their shingles, and I don't know why one in three people have had it. Stress is the major cause of it. If you've had chicken pox, you can get shingles. Mm. This is the have other. Have you had chicken pox? Yes. Wow. Very bad as a child. Most people have had chicken pox. Have you had chicken pox? I don't believe so. Johnny had it twice, which is very rare. Um, tough, that explains Johnny. Tough. Have you had shingles as an adult, Johnny? No. Oh, it's coming after. It's coming. The after conversation with we you. just had. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna have shingles in the next week. A hundred percent. Uh, you know so, what it is because like comedy's picking up you're working so hard you know you got to find time to breathe i don't too. like i just like couldn't breathe think because i'm like is i don't even know feel if that's true i totally thought i was taking care of my mental health i indulge in facials and massages i work out every day i am blaming the majority of my stress on emotional stress i yeah. do feel like i endured some mm, emotional you were abuse hang, you were hanging out with someone that we shouldn't name i took care of my ex who had strep throat for seven days straight i walked his half husky half German Shepherd, maniac of a dog, 70 pounds, morning, noon, and night. Has he come take care of you with your shingles? Oh my God. Can I finish? This is a. I already know my answer and I don't like it. (laughs) (laughs) Then the second he got better, he went out drinking with his friends and texted me vile, horrible, abusive stuff um, about our like relationship. You know what I mean? Like Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's had its ups and downs. And then, like, the following day, or that night, what do you think's happening? Oh. Um, he's like, do you want to come over and watch a movie? And I'm like, yes. I'm <laughs> because an idiot. you're, yeah. I was and gonna, that I was night, say. my side started hurting. Like, my rib, like, it felt like somebody punched me. Initially, I thought I had a fart caught up there. <laughs> <laughs> but, has that happened to you? Johnny shaking his head. An upper quadrant fart? I've had kidney stones, so... Right. That's so. That's gonna that's be a little different. Maybe <laughs> that's a little different. I mean, I feel like that's because you like you like lick salt balls and like don't eat real food. That's right. But anyway, I was like rubbing and da 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 da. And then the next day, I know my body. I'm like something's wrong. Something's off. I saw a little rash. I took a spin class. I told Emma Wilman right away. I was like, I think I have shingles or something, dude. And because I felt like that right there, and um, I went and I checked i kept looking at the symptoms because this is what women do we know our bodies and we're in tune with them and we become doctors the second something's off we google symptoms we find things out we answer questions you fucking goofballs act like you are the first thing that's ever had a fucking sinus infection the second you have a cold like you turn retarded i hate it so much it's my biggest problem with men the ratio between the amount of compassion and care that you need versus the empathy that you give towards other people when they're sick is fucking criminal me 
Your gender. Most men. Well, it's a good thing I'm a boy. No, I'm kidding. I got bar mitzvah. <laughs> He's still living off that money. <laughs> no, I haven't touched it yet. <laughs> when I move out, my mom's going to give it to me. But who knows when that's fucking happening. Uh, but you're starting an LLC. He's like, let me get some tips. On <laughs> let me get some tips on an LLC. I'm like, why don't you fucking save your tips for rent? Uh, I got a... Uh, uh, my accountant friend and comedian pal Tobin Miller uh, discussed it with me, and he he explained to me what revenue was. <laughs> and how you don't have any? <laughs> he goes, dude, you should save this. You should save that for the pod, dude. Oh, did Tobin <laughs> say that? Shout out to Tobin. Love him so much. Runs a great show. Don't every ask Tuesday. to be on it. It's just for us. Yeah, every you Tuesday. You can go to it though if you're fans. Uh, no, you have to ask him to go. But fans, go hang out and buy tickets and support the man. He's selling shows. He. That man, you know, he's 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 he the one like who Larry got me into Bird the podcast. Man. He does look like <laughs> doesn't he? He looks like yeah. a young Larry Bird. Yeah, skinny he, Larry Bird. He's a hundred feet tall. <laughs> Every time I see him, I'm like, I must look so cute to you. <laughs> I must That's look so skinny funny. as fuck. He goes. So I used to do his podcast uh, a lot, and he's like, I don't think it's important enough to talk about. I was going to say how he was like... I feel like I really liked him at first, but then I just really don't think our listeners are going to care about his podcast. Like, they barely well, care about was, ours. Was, they only was, watch when we have was, big guests. It was about me, but it's cool. That's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> we, all right, they don't... Do you read the comments? Where's the real? <laughs> I have this great idea for Jared to put together all the mean things you guys say. Keep them coming. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I, I love them. The best one the other day, shout out to uh, oh, Jess W. Stop, remi- stop memorizing their names. I know. It's bad. That's the thing I I I never forget. No. Okay, so if you cross me, I'll see you down the road. And uh, she wrote, she goes, by the looks of it, I must be Jared's biggest fan. <laughs> and so I I wrote back. I go, thank you. I've noticed as a joke because I have not noticed. All right, he I'm not looking gets at these, com- these comments. Like he gets them in script because he's gonna get them tattooed on himself. <laughs> He shows them to different tattoo artists. He's like, this one, can you do this one like one hieroglyphic? And then like, <laughs> Roman numerals. But then it's like, Jared sucks. And uh, and then after I wrote the thank you, I've noticed she replied back, this is my first comment. Oh, man, it's worse than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a good one, Jess. Keep commenting, please. I got nothing else to live for. It's really, you know, I had somebody comment on my photo yesterday that they're a fan out in the UK from listening on a... From listening to our last episode, so you know your boy's international. Stop saying you. It's like I felt you saying it like it was that burp <laughs> slowly coming out of you. But yeah, we were talking about before the podcast, uh, and oh, good what for you, you were just Jared. talking about what you were just talking about with like you know your your man, you know, and uh, I don't have a man. I'm I'm in this open relationship now, and it's like she keeps letting me know it's an open relationship. You guys, I think, are both hurting each other's feelings. It's your pride and your egos at play. And I think you should just enjoy each other and have fun and And treat each other with kindness. What I say is, why can't we just live in the moment? Yeah. And her thing is about planning in the future. And like, like she, she, her whole thing is that I have no experience in this. And I'm like, okay, so does that mean experience in what? Dating? Yeah. Dating's just hanging out that's and you what get I, to that's fuck. That's what I thought. Like dating, I, I don't know. <laughs> maybe also, I am it's 30 a, something years old and single. So maybe yeah. don't <laughs> listen to me. We've been in a few but open it is, but, but that is very honest. Like if you're a chick that's looking to plan and get married, yeah, I wouldn't follow my, what I did. I had like many loves. Like I fell in love like five times. Right. Like, like still like love every guy I fell right. in love with hopefully another one's coming <laughs> you know like yeah, I, I mean i don't love many i haven't loved many girls right i mean know? that's an experience too right but just like while i don't really see the sense at your age and putting so much emphasis on the future and planning right that's and that's what i tell her all the time i as even far told as, her as far as like a partnership is concerned you should be planning like your career co- which is what i'm doing and there's times where you know it feels like picking and choosing and i don't you know i've explained that but I think, you know, she's on that time of the month, so. And I will say that we literally, I turn into a different person. My hormones yeah. take over my body. I have my period right now, too. So that on top of shingles, like, yeah. you could never, you could never go through what I'm dealing with and do this podcast. You know, it's funny. You know, I've had, uh, uh, I've had kidney stones. And what and else? And when I went to the doc, uh, I've had a broken nose. All right. But the kidney stones is pretty painful. Yeah. But 
but yeah, you know, it's funny. Like I went to the doctor and the doctor said that he spoke to a woman who gave birth and had kidney stones and that kidney, kidney stones, stones is worse. Kidney stones is worse. So women cannot complain to me. Well, <laughs> they also do not like that joke. <laughs> okay. Can I explain something to you though? Like most of the time when women get give birth or a lot of times yeah. they get epidural. So sometimes they don't feel. I was lot. a C-section. We can tell. <laughs> what does that fucking mean? Because you didn't get like that last hug <laughs> from your mom's pussy you needed that last little like you know like a so snowball that's why, that's why i just can't let go of her now right yeah <laughs> that's like you that's know, funny my brother was in a c-section yeah like a, like a snowball like if it's too soft it has to get packed in at the last minute yeah, that's yeah. what you're missing you that's got a funny. soft dumb head that's funny wow thanks that's a good way to look at it <laughs> that's how i look at you dumb puffy puff i love it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it just felt like uh, like she make sure she she makes sure to let me know you know my my relationship. I guess you, I guess what I call her my girlfriend. I I might I don't know. I mean, I call her your girlfriend, right? I so, mean, I so like I validate your relationship whether or not. Yeah, you want I like to. to validate it. Maybe I think I might have one time was like, which I know was wrong. Question to ask. I was like, what if I were to ask you out? And then she was like, I'd say no. I'm like, all right. And we just went about it and she brought that up. Right. And I thought it was too. And then I apologized for it afterwards. I think it's kind of mean. Like, I think it's mean to make anyone feel like they're disposable or just kind of like hanging around. Like you're, if you're not into me, then don't hang out with me. Right. That's what I say. And it just seems like a very, uh, uh, but I, but I don't think she actually feels that way. I think you both are playing a little bit of game stuff there. I think there was like some pride and some ego shit, a little competitive, mm-hmm. like because you're young, you're still playing games, right? I'm just having fun. Like that's the thing. I don't care to go out and get some pussy. Yeah, like, I don't care about your relationship that much. Yeah, me either. You know, I got girls hitting me up left and right. Okay, just left, but like, <laughs> and they're like, "Hey, what are you doing this weekend?" They're coming to my shows, and I'm like, "Just come through," and. And like, so now okay. you like you have a podcast so you can be like, oh, girl, they're hitting me up. And like that could be if she listens to that, this, that could be intentional. I mean, this is an interesting conversation to have, too, because there's it's very challenging to date people who aren't comics. Right. Um, because she's in the industry. I understand, but she does it. <laughs> You're a huge fucking platform. You have a tiny audience <laughs> that's listening to you. So <laughs> what are you talking about? I just went viral. <laughs> <laughs> and i'm losing followers a lot every time you say you went viral i guarantee you someone goes fuck him. <laughs> goodbye for sure. for sure but my point is i think it's like you have to be sensitive to people's feelings when you have yeah. podcasts right like yeah, for sure and revealing like too much stuff like it's your life but it's their life too and i always struggle with that i constantly yeah. get in trouble even with the fucking architect fake architect <laughs> what does he built <laughs> show me a picture other than uh, other than borders around his heart <laughs> i'm like email me the blueprints asshole <laughs> so he was like i just don't understand somebody a grown woman going on a radio show i was like well i mean you're lucky i fucking talked about you right that's what i think too you know she's she's begging me to talk about her on stage and i'm just like really something like that (laughs) she don't listen that's why i talk about it (laughs) she never will i'm gonna send her this one i'm like "Mm, this is the one (laughs) 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 i was gonna let you know everything you need to know babe leave him just kidding that's hilarious i i just i think that you guys are just, it I feels th- like it, like we try to be nice to right. each other i mean I, we are you know it's just like little nitpick things that we just get mad at each other about but you know other than that like from the outside looking in we're you know we're I, hot, I, young, I kind of successful. feel grateful that i'm not like in like like dating anybody like seriously I mean, I love right it. now it's not really yeah that's the thing maybe i don't take it too serious and that's what she's you know all right, you're not making any sense. Do you I have know. two spots tonight? You told I me. Have a couple, I have a couple the, spots. The well, it's one, one? Sh- it's one show that has two shows. Tell me. That didn't make sense. It's one spot that has two shows. Nobody can. Uh, it's at uh, Ample Hills Creamery in Gowanus. Nick Hopping show. It's, it's uh, at an ice cream? It's a 7 and 8.30 spot. It's an ice cream store? It's at an ice cream parlor, yeah. It's pretty oh, cool. Parlor, ice cream yeah, parlor. Yeah, I'll put in the word for you when I go there. Please. I got you. Ask them if they have um, dairy-free ice cream. I don't need it, but I'd like it. Well, I, I'm trying to cut down caffeine. Do you want to hear about all the changes I've made to my life? I probably look so fat. I haven't been to I the gym. 
I haven't been to the gym. Well, I've been to the gym. I've taken two athletic yoga classes. Gentle reminder that yoga is a gift and it's always here for us. Yeah. Because I I used to do hot yoga a ton. I, I had like a very s- yoga for you. skinny body. <laughs> Um, but then I much prefer lifting weights and taking spin classes. Those are like my jams, yeah. but I totally cut out lifting weights and it's been making me. Oh really? Me Where's the dumbbells at? I mean the, the cowbell, kettlebell, same thing. First of all, it's kettlebell and like, it's like your listening skills are atrocious. Well, that's why. What don't you understand? That's why my girlfriend you understand that, is like, pretty upset with me. I don't care. Do you understand <laughs> that, like when you get shingles, you have to like totally like chill out. Like I, I should like I some people know. are bedridden. Who was telling me? Matt Pavich was telling me his buddy got was like starting a new job or new company. He got super stressed out. He got shingles. He was bedridden. Mm. This great lawyer girl, Cassie, she is a lawyer and she got shingles after she got really stressed out after a certain trial. Sounds like it only happens to successful people. I know. It's fucking shingles of the stars. Come get me, shingles. I'm waiting. (laughs) (laughs) Shingle, shingle, little star. Shingle, shingle. That's funny. I do not I do not wanna I do not wonder what you are. Okay. I'm a girl. A real girl. Then I had my headshots taken because Headshots. Chris at the stand. Imagine being told by a fat fucking guy that oh photographs of you are horrible to my face. He's like, they're horrible. Your Don't picture, want- your pictures are horrible. Telling me about my pictures. That's so rude. It's a real mind fuck. You know what I mean? That's so rude. Anyway. Why do you need headshots? You have plenty from Mama's Boy Comedy. Yeah, but come like, see us every Saturday. We're at a secret location. Come find us. You got to buy tickets. They're in my bio. Uh, it's a hot show. Katie Boyle was talking about your show. How did get to charge Schwartz's show? It was awesome. It was great. <laughs> awesome. She's so fucking cute. Uh, yeah, it's, I it's did been, uh, Shane Cunningham's show. Whew, I, he needed a ton of cocaine before he produced it. It's this Irish kid. He's very funny and nice, and the show was packed and fun. It was a great lineup. Was that on the roof? No. no. It was at like it was like, like it was at this uh, the Terra Rose. Never heard of it. It's an entirely Irish staff, and they play nothing but like uh, Latino music the whole time. Latino music. I they, I have I have a show like Monday through fucking Monday. Yeah, but I was know. in the middle of the story. About yeah, the yeah how that, sh- that show go? And he's like, so I'm shingled up, and I'm PMSing, and I had looked at the menu before I got there. My he told me to get there at seven. I went up at eight thirty. Oh my god! Let's just say, keep an eye you, on the does show. Does he know who you are? No, it's not about knowing who I am. It's just it's it's challenging for people to organize and everyone. Is it because I think we run a pretty tight ship you over do a Mama's very, Boy very Comedy. Good job. Well, I have a lot of you know help from my team. Thank you guys. I appreciate yeah, Shane you. Shane needs a little more help, and then I think he'll get there. The show, the audience was great. Uh, the mic was great. The tech was great. It was packed. It That's was awesome. super fun to perform on. There was nowhere for the comics to be, which is like easy mistake, right? It's yeah. like a new show, new venue, blah blah blah. Right. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry and I have shingles. I guarantee you at some point the wait staff went behind and like their register or wherever they chill and were like, somebody find this fucking bitch a table and somewhere to eat because she's annoying the piss out of us. <laughs> I was like, who do I talk to? I just, I'm like, I'm on the show, I'm on the show. And like, Sounds they like were me, just too just busy. When I go out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you in general. Right. So finally, we we're walking over there and this is like the male ego at its finest. Mm. Like Shane, like uh, the manager of the place like brings us to like a bar and like gives us like menus and shane goes oh yeah here i got this for you guys here this will be your spot to be and i'm like i made this happen i oh did this oh my god i annoyed everyone here <laughs> everyone hates me at least thank me <laughs> that's funny <laughs> but then i had a bang and fried chicken sandwich and then you went and had a bang and set yeah you know I, like As Shane usual. brought me up. He's doing this weird intro, and I was like, "Keep it going." Yeah, intros are starting to get pretty. W- I, I don't like when people don't act before I go. If you want your credits, I know. Yeah, all the. Oh, what about you? This Monday, at frantic. <laughs> Wait, Jerry, you got any other credits uh, besides the one I got you? <laughs> and then I name one, and she's like, <laughs> "Chris Gethard presents." Uh, sh- no, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> laugh at that. Shut up, Jared. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean, oh, that yes, was a I great. Did. I was and like, then, ah, boo. And then she brought me up. She goes, "I'm not going to say any of these." And then she brought. This time was a better. What did than I last do? Last time you brought me up. When, when you, instead of bringing me up as a, I started this kid's career. You brought me up as a, uh, the semi permanent co host on Only Fee Hands, mm-hmm. and I was pretty proud of that. And then I went up and I had a pretty good set. 
got lit early and I was like, damn, am I bombing? <laughs> and it turns out he just had to light me early because he was running into was the bombing. kitchen. 30 seconds. He had to light me early. Turns out he goes, he'd rather light me early than <laughs> have me run a minute late. <laughs> people have real problems, Jared. You know, like people like can't. Except, you know, it's a real problem you don't have. What? Your eyebrow. Your eye. My eye eyebrows? Eye, are eye, they eyelashes. Gone? Eyelashes. They look great. They look <laughs> Phenomenal. Thank, thank you. Um, yeah, now I'm distracted. Yeah, no, I feel pretty good about myself except for like not having worked out. That is, and it's weird. Like people, there, there's so many people are like, are you, should you be out? Is it contagious? No, it's not airborne. You would have to, which I don't really have. I had a tiny rash and it's a almost rap. totally gone. Yeah. Like you'd have to touch me like right. in order to like, and even then the chances are low. Right. So people say stupid shit like that to me. Yeah. And then they're like, so why are you out? And I'm like, it almost makes me cry. I'm like, because I've been alone. Right. I don't have yeah, it'll be I'm more tired. miserable at home. It'll be more miserable at home and make it worse. Oh, I've been reading. It's so gay. <laughs> It's so gay. What have you been reading? Every time I read, I'm like, Ugh. it's I a book have, called I The can't... Idiot, and no, not the one by Dostoevsky. I Wait, you're reading a book about me? Yep. Ah, it's a it's a female author. She's Turkish, and it's about this chick who went to Harvard in the '90s, and it's decent. The real reason I read it because it helps me fall asleep. I can't even tell you the last book I read. Obviously. <laughs> I read a lot of articles. I mean, Facebook headlines. That oh, shut up. Get better. That was a good bit. Reading helps you. I think it improves your vocabulary. Well, you know what it is? I, I get migraines from reading. Legitimately. I used to get migraines when I was on the pill. I got one, like real one, where I like my eyes went dark and I had to vomit. And oh then I God, felt better. Yeah. I've been there. Well, that's the whole reason why I transferred high schools because of migraines. <laughs> and you're like, we're going to go where they don't make you read. <laughs> <laughs> like, listen, I just want to tickle kids when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to get a degree. Oh, well, I've actually had to move on. They let me go. For, not let me go. They told me I'd become How a floater. How do you get let go? No, they're like, hey. From that no, job. I, th I think it's more of a, it's more of a, uh, their payment roll, payroll. And it they couldn't hold me anymore. Or that's what I'm at least going with. But they're like, hey, you're becoming a floater, which basically means you're back to substituting and go find underwork. But milestone, I just changed my first diaper. I was not expecting adulthood to come this quick. Can you sit up straighter? Um, whose diaper? Uh, a young autistic boy. Oh. Yeah, he almost pissed on me too. I was like, I'm on my fucking Air Max 97, so I was about to be salty. <laughs> Should I say that on stage? Yeah. Oh, that's that's a good tag. Yep. Johnny with the tag. I Yesterday did you read Amy Schumer's post about her autistic husband? It made no, me ball my autistic. eyes out. Yeah. He's on the spectrum. It made me, it's so nice. It made me want to find my own autistic guy so I'm bad. I'm right here. Karen. <laughs> an older one. I Johnny's wanna, here too. <laughs> an older, older, older. <laughs> older, older. Like a uh, 70 year old autistic. I don't care. That's funny. They're like they're just senile at this point. I'm like, I don't care. These young boys are the ones who don't leave me alone though. Because you look their age and they're like, I, I need that. Whatever, I Jared. Know. I don't say that, at least. Anyway, I, I got my pictures don't. taken today, and, like, there's some uh -huh. normal photographers, but there's not a lot. You know, it's mostly weirdos. Yeah. I said that right to his face two minutes in. I'm like, what? What? why are you all like this? Because I get it. He's like, he's like, oh, this exposure and this exposure. He's speaking photo jargon to me as if I'm, like, another photographer. I'm like, hey, I'm Karen. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> like it's complete disconnect. He's like, <laughs> and some people it's stand there, and it's like, and if you do this with your neck, and you see what I'm doing here, and you see what I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm a fucking normal person. Like, can you talk to me? Does he know you're a fucking model, and you've been, <laughs> in, you 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 know, you've been in the game. I for have a little been. Bit? I have got, been in Los Angeles by myself, unchaperoned, Whoa. greased up with vitamin E oil, Whoa. and had a great time with a photographer, totally naked, Whoa. had fun, felt comfortable. You got to pay for those shots. This guy. No, they're on they're on Maine. <laughs> <laughs> they're on Maine. Um, this guy today. I mean, uh, this. Uh, you know what I mean? Like fully dressed, and I'm like, oh, this. And I'm just like, why are you making your subject uncomfortable? Yeah. Are you trying to capture this? <laughs> that's all I want to give you. 
You know, if you're taking somebody's picture, wouldn't you want them to feel confident, yeah, attractive, yeah. relaxed? If I'm a photographer, I'm just leading with compliments. So you feel great. Uh, you know, not, not, let's do it. Imagine if you're me and we're taking photos. What do you mean? I'm the photographer? Yeah. No, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> that was, you're smooth or not? Because I want to do the exercise <laughs> to show how good I'll be at it. But it's impossible to do. Because but I don't want to give it. To, I don't want to make me uncomfortable. Jared, you look great. Was that a new hoodie? <laughs> look at the smile she got. <laughs> it just seems to me. It actually is a new hoodie. Yeah, Supreme. But am I can wrong? It, can it get any bigger? No. Oh, joke. the logo. It's yeah, it's, it's it's a little mini box logo. Was it um? It was like 140 bucks. <laughs> I was gonna say, was it one of the irregular? It's ones? called Equity. I can resell it in a couple of years for like 200 bucks. <laughs> you got any Doge? No. You're not in. I bought. I um, sold it at fucking 30 cents. I'm a joke. I, I was in at 0.06. I bought Ethereum on a whim. At what? I don't remember. That's good. But it's gone up. Yeah, it has gone up. It's about to hit like 5k. Oh, word. Like 4k. Okay. That, it's over three. I remember looking at it at like 15. I'm yeah. a dope. Yeah. And then Bitcoin continues to crush. I just don't. like but People, gonna you're going to be able to pay with Doge like in stores soon. Like that's going to be wild. Wait, Doge? Like, in yeah. In stores? Crypto. Like, How any, do you know that? That's the word. Any crypto though? It's getting there. Bitcoin. Bitcoin would be first probably. Yeah, I'm so smart for getting in there early and sticking it out when people told me to you sell. You literally asked me to sell if you should sell. And I was like, no. So you owe me some for that. <laughs> oh that just made my shingles hurt shut up no that's not the right response the right response is oh are you okay why do you keep yeah but why do you keep giving me these right responses because i'm trying to teach you how to be a good person yeah, i'm not gonna be me mm. no i'm just joking i mean you can say like are you okay and then say something funny right after it's like oh are you okay i don't care or something you know see how easy that was yeah, so... I'd be like, oh, are you okay? Because... No, I understand. <laughs> Karen, are you okay? Because you look great. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was a I couldn't make a, a nail appointment until May 17th. Today's the, what, 7th? Oof. So I got 10 more days of these. I have my, uh, my, I'm finally getting, I'm finally figuring out what's going on with my, my urine. What's that doctor I went to? Urologist? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm finally getting back there. I'm going to get my sperm, uh, analysis. I, and then the week after that, I'm going back. It's been, like, it's been like over two months. And ever since. Like lesbian ever, couples knocking down your door? Why do you? No, for, for the kidney stones. Oh. Yeah, they're finally checking up on that. And then I had an enlarged... It affects your sperm? Well, I had a, I had an enlarged vein when they went and checked oh, me out. Right. Yeah, so they want me to go get checked out. And uh, basically... Uh, Can I you bring ever, footage I've noticed, of your sperm? Footage? Yeah, I guarantee you it's half the of them are floating backwards. I guarantee you, like, yeah. they're <laughs> every been, other I've been, one... I've big shots lately. Ew, maybe, Jared! Maybe it's, be, maybe it's because I've been having such great sex. I don't know. Do you mean big volume or big distance? Distance. Where are they going? <laughs> like almost in my eye. I'm like, yo, <laughs> chill out, buddy. This is your, yourself. <laughs> Love yourself. And uh, yeah. Face mask. I can't. Uh, uh, ever since like I went and got the, you know, after the kidney stones, I've noticed like I've gone to the bathroom like a lot more than usual. Oh. And like it's a problem. But you also drink gallons of what you leave a bottle here every week. You have <laughs> three plus bottle you're like an Uber I driver. I know, but like I the way the amount I've been going to the bathroom, like I I just it's like I remember looking at the sheet when I filled out when I went to the urologist for the first time and it was like, Do you go to the bathroom this amount of time it, it, every other hour? And I'm like, No, no, no. But now I'm like, Oh shit, like I do. And I'm like, is it a mind thing? Or? Are you that thirsty or are you drinking water for another reason? Both. No. Just no. to be healthy? That's not, that's not an answer. Yeah, it is. For both. Just to be healthy and, and because you are and thirsty. because I'm thirsty. How was your cup of noodles? Jared takes out all of the little, they're not even real vegetables, right? They're just like, exactly. So they're, they're like paper, the color of peas. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like confetti. Have paper. you ever seen like, it's but like, he a takes those out of the cup of noodles. Those flavorless little pieces of paper. Chicken flavor. What are you talking about? Chicken. 
one time I've seen like a viral video of like this Asian woman. I don't know where it was some market where she legitimately just poured like green liquid into like this pot of water. Next thing you know, it's a head of lettuce. I'm like, is what? I don't trust anything. And yeah. today I saw a peach and they cut it through the middle and it was chocolate cake. <laughs> it's kind of like my butt though. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. I can't be. I Somebody keeps commenting OnlyFans question mark. Such a weirdo. Really? On our on our Instagram. I must have them blocked because I haven't seen it. Yeah. Maybe. No. Why would so you see it? Can you delete and block? Why? Make. Yeah. I don't know. Because I, I told you to. You're right. I don't run the Instagram. Though. I don't know who runs it. Our guy. You do. Our, t- our team runs it. Yeah, what are you talking about? Does. I know. Uh, uh, Somebody <laughs> actually commented. Jared definitely captioned this. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it was bad? Yeah. Just kidding. I write most of it. You ask me and I tell Social you. Social media managing is not easy. I run three accounts. It is easy. So do I. Yeah. And you're doing all right. I had to tell you to put only fee hands in your bio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's because I'm not proud of it. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I was trying to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted it to say. But it's tough when I just roll around with you everywhere you go. Only fans. I know. Joe starts introduces me like that. Everybody, everywhere. Only fans. Oh, is that Did right? Did I tell you about the shout out we got from the fireman? That guy's my favorite guy. Um, Micah and I were walking to dinner. And this guy, we were on Spring Street. And I think there was a fire. Hope it's okay. Um, <laughs> and no, it's just you walking down the street. Whoop, whoop. Me and Micah Fox. Oh, never mind. Micah was there. Don't do that to me. Oh, got him. I don't like when people make fun of my friend. You love when people make fun of me. No, I'm just kidding. You don't. You stick up for me. It's very sweet. Fireman goes, Hey, only fans. It's like, Yeah. Hey, first time getting noticed on the street. That's no, pretty it sick. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Definitely wasn't the first time. <laughs> I I got noticed like three weeks into my career. Thanks for listening to another episode. Um, we'll be back next week with a guest, hopefully, or unless she's fucking too big time hey, for us. Hey, she, she got on HBO. She, she's too HBO big for us. Latino. <laughs> 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 this was a lot of fun. Thanks for having uh, me again. You're welcome. What? <laughs> Shut up! Stop trying to say the last thing. Done. Oh, it's only she is.